Uh, hello. So, I have a bit of a situation. So, I'm trying to create a concrete anchor. So, um, I want to create a countersunk anchor. So, I'm thinking something like this here. Uh, I'd like to do a bigger one, uh, but I can't seem to find a spec. So, for now, I'll just do it with uh, this one here, which is, uh, I'll do a 3 8 because the quarter inch is quite small. So, anyway, all you want to do is I'm just gonna go into my management tools and go to anchor and go into your anchor here, and we're gonna have a look here, right? So, I'm just gonna take something that's totally different really let's take something like this because I'm going to start from scratch with this one so what I'm going to do is create a new one and I'll go back here I'm going to call it quick ball tree countersunk so healthy quick ball tree <coughs> quick tree and CSK for countersink. Uh, we'll put that comma there. Apply, and you can see everything has gone blank, all right? So before you put in any values here, uh, you might be able to put in these ones, I think. Just go to your set, because you want to set this up. So you want this to be, or I at least want this to be setless. So it's invalid grade. All right, so I need to go back and put the grade in first. So I'm just going to do normal and the grade, I'll just put in as 10.9. Diameter, I'm just going to do 3.8. And the source, I'm just going to put in anchor. Now let's go to set now and setless is in there. So let's do apply and that seems to have worked. <clears throat> now I'll come back here and do the length so to start with I'll just do a six inch uh, I don't really want any tread but I'll just put in one inch right so let's sorry I gotta put in the feet as well I think so let's do zero foot six inches tread length zero foot one inch top distance uh, I want to be zero so I had a quick look at one beforehand so there is another countersunk bolt in here and if I go here uh, you can see some of the values so you can see this one here is a countersunk type so the top distance is zero and then 116 for the head height and the diameter was 78 so what I'm going to do is top distance of zero, head height of zero, 116th, head diameter, I'm going to give it one inch head diameter, number of edges zero because I want it to be circular, the weight I'm just going to guess 7.42 and ounces and then I'm gonna to go to the part name and I'm just gonna put in healthy quick tree and I'll put a comma there and then countersink apply now you can put another one in here if you want so I've got the set done it's setless and it's a tree aid and then the holes um, all and countersunk hole head diameter head diameter of one an angle of 45 tolerance so if we go back and look at the other one again uh, we've got a 
a tolerance of 116 and a depth of 316. So we'll keep that the same. You should really find out these figures, but I'm just going to keep them the same and I can switch them if I need to. 116. Zero and three sixteenths. Apply. That has applied that. So now in that set, this is what we have: a three eight bolt, setless, and this is the holes. Now keep in mind, every time you do this, you'll need to go back and do the set and the holes. It's uh, it can be a lot of work if you're doing more than one. And then later you can add these, right? So we'll do apply again, just in case. Minimize that, update the defaults. And let's click on these two anchors. And let's come in here and see where we have, have we? Healthy quick bolt. Here it is here. Healthy Quick 3 CSK and there you go, it's 6 inches long, it's got a counter sick hole and you've got the name in there and it's setless. And the hole tolerance is 1 16th, so that's good. Uh, so obviously you want to check out the specs on this. Uh, I would like to make a bigger one. I have to try and find a bigger one, but uh, basically that's how you do it. If you want to create a second one, just go through the same process. Let's say you want uh, a smaller one. You can also copy if you want. So you can come here, copy, paste. This is good for people with me that aren't great at typing. Copy. Paste. Zero, and it's going to be half the size, so we'll do 0 0.9 because the head of it. I don't know why I put a minus, 0 0.92 ounces, and copy, paste. Now, as you can see, I forgot to put in a length here, so we'll call that, for our lists, 3 inches, and this one could be 6 inches. Apply. Now, because the holes and the set haven't changed, they should be the same. So this is for a 3.8 bolt. So let's close it down. Let's update this. Let's double click on this bolt. And let's see if we have a 3 inch one. We have, and there's your 3 inch one. So if you want two different sizes, you have it there. All right. Hope that helps. All right, take care.